words. In this video, we will learn about time measurement units. Tomorrow is Sher Khan's birthday. Sher Khan is very excited for his birthday. Just as he woke up, he immediately saw the time in the clock next to him. Sher Khan started wondering why there are three hands in the clock. Kids, do you know? What are the three hands in a clock for? The thinnest hand in the clock tells time in seconds. Second is the smallest unit of time measured. The longest hand like this gives time in minutes. 60 seconds are added to make one minute. And the smallest hand of the clock shows the time in hours. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. Children, can you see how fast the needle of the second hand has turned in one minute? And the minute hand has only reached only here in one minute. And the minute hand has completed a complete round in one hour. But the hour hand has only reached here. Today, Sher Khan also finished brushing his teeth and bathing in just 30 minutes. It takes him at least an hour to do these everyday tasks. Today, Sher Khan had breakfast in minutes and went to school. Sher Khan's mother was surprised. How Sher Khan went to school today without making excuses? Then she remembered that all this is probably because there is only one day left for Sher Khan's birthday. Do you know that one day is made by total 24 hours? As soon as Sher Khan reached school, he invited all his friends to come to his birthday party the next day at his house. Golu said excitedly that his birthday too is coming next month. And he will also throw a party like Sher Khan. Kids, do you know how long is one month? That's correct. There are 28 to 31 days in a month. Sher Khan told his friends that he is very excited for his birthday. He was looking forward to his birthday for whole one year. After all, he has only one day left for his birthday. Do you know how many months a year is off? Absolutely right. One year contains total 12 months. All friends are very excited to go to Sher Khan's birthday party. They all told Sher Khan that they would definitely come to celebrate his birthday and will also bring a special gift. How was the preparation of Sher Khan's birthday? And what gift has his friends brought for his party? We will see in the next video. Kids, in this video, we learned about time measurement units. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples.
Hello kids. In the previous video, we learned about time measurement units. In this video, we will learn about how long it takes to do different tasks. Today is Sher Khan's birthday. Everyone has been preparing for his birthday since morning. Sher Khan's mother planted a tree in her garden when he was born. Now, there are beautiful flowers on that tree. Children, do you know how long it takes for a tree to grow? Seconds? Minutes? Or years? All right. It takes years to grow trees. Sheer Khan's mother is preparing for the party. She will cook a lot of dishes. She is now thinking that only a few hours left for the guests to arrive. Will she be able to do all the preparations by then? What do you think, kids? How long does it take to cook delicious dishes? Months? Hours? Or second? Well done, kids. You have found the right answer. It takes a few hours to cook delicious dishes. She prepared delicious dishes with the help of her cook. Kids, here are few tasks related to Sher Khan's birthday written here. Can you connect these tasks with their units of time? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done, kids! You have found the correct answers. All the preparations were done. And all the guests have arrived. But what's this? Why did Golu take so long to come? When Sher Khan asked his reason for being late, Golu tells him that he was stuck in traffic due to the construction of a new bridge near his house. Kids, can you tell how long it takes to build a bridge? Correct! It takes months to build a bridge. Golu also joined the party. And all the friends celebrated Sher Khan's birthday grandly. Kids, in this video, we learned about some interesting examples of how long it takes to do different tasks. In the next video, we will see some misconceptions related to it. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned about how long it takes to do different tasks. In this video, we will see some misconceptions related to it. Today, all the friends have decided to play cricket. All of them gathered in the field. But uh, where is Bablu? Look, Bablu comes here now gasping. When everyone asked him why he was late, Bablu said that he woke up at 9 and then it took him 15 minutes to bathe. So he was late. Raju told him that he too woke up at 9 a.m. But he took a quick shower in five minutes. So he reached the ground on time. Bablu was shocked. He told Raju 
when both he and Raju bathed in minutes. Then how did Raju reach there before? Kids, did Raju and Bablu take equal time to bathe? They didn't. Even though Raju and Bablu bathed within minutes, the amount of time they took is not the same. Raju took 5 minutes to bathe, while Bablu took 15 minutes. 5 or 15 minutes? Which one is greater? Exactly! 15. So, who took longer to bathe? Bablu. Raju explained this to Bablu. The game started. Everyone enjoyed the game very much. When the game was over, Raju told Bablu that why don't they both go to Babban's ice cream stall and eat ice cream? Bablu tells him that he's thirsty. Raju tells him that he too is feeling really sweaty. Then both of them decided to go to Raju's house first. Raju can wash his face there and Bablu can drink water. Raju and Bablu reach Raju's house. Bablu, as soon as they reached there, went to kitchen to drink water. And Raju went to the bathroom to wash his face. Bablu returned after drinking water from the kitchen. But Raju did not return after washing his face. Bablu thought that both of them should have taken equal time to drink water and wash their face. So why is Raju taking so long? Kids, is Bablu thinking correctly? Does it take equal time to drink water and washing up? Bablu is thinking wrong. It only takes a few seconds to drink water. But washing up takes several minutes. So Bablu and Raju will not take the same amount of time. Remember kids, it takes different time to do different tasks. Finally, Raju returned after washing himself up and they both went to eat ice cream at Babban's ice cream stall. Kids, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to how long does it take to do different tasks? In this video, by using addition and subtraction, we will learn to calculate the age. See, Jeev has come to meet Raju and Bablu. Raju and Bablu are very excited. Raju is telling Jeev that he wished to grow up like him quickly. Then, like all the elder people, he could go anywhere on his own free will and nobody would say anything to him. Jeev tells him that growing up is not such an easy task. But Raju did not listen to him. Then Jeev placed him and Bablu in his flying saucer. And the flying saucer flew away. Raju and Bablu fainted for a while. When they opened their eyes, they saw themselves in the mirror. They could not believe their eyes. 
Both of them had grown up now. Both of them started dancing happily. When they asked Jeev how this happened, Jeev told them that they have reached year 2049. Now Raju is thinking that he was born in the year 2012. So how old will he be in 2049? Children, can you find an answer to this question? Raju was born in 2012 and now they were in the year 2049. So what do we have to do to find out his age in 2049? It's very easy. Whenever we have to find the future age of a person, how much will it be in a certain year? So we only have to reduce the year of his birth. From the future year. What future year is here? 2049. And in which year Raju was born? 2012. So, what do we have to do now? Yes, we have to subtract 2012 from 2049. Children, do you know the process of doing this subtraction quickly? Since in 2049 and in 2012, 1000 and 100, the numbers 2 and 0 are exactly the same, we can do the subtraction by subtracting 12 from 49. Now, what will we get if we subtract 12 from 49? Absolutely right. 37. So, Raju's age in the year 2049 is 37 years. Raju became very excited knowing that he is now 37 years old. Now, Bablu is thinking that he was born in 2014. So, in which year will he be 37 years old? Children, do you know how we can find the answer to this question? Whenever we are given the age of a person and want to find out in which future year he will be of that age, then we only have to add that age to the year of his birth. In which year Bablu was born? 2014. And what age is given? 37. So what shall we do? Exactly! 37 must be added to 2014. If you add 37 to 2014, how much is that? Right, 2051. In this way, Bablu will be 37 years in 2051. Now Bablu too started dancing with joy. But when Jeev tells them that since they had grown up now and they will have to do a job, and when he explained to them many more responsibilities of growing up, Raju and Bablu got nervous. They told Jeev that they were better as kids. Jeev could not help but laughed. Jeev pressed some buttons on his flying saucer and the flying saucer again came to the ground. Once again, Raju and Bablu fainted and came to their senses after a while. Both of them regained their right age as soon as they came to their senses. Both found themselves young again and started dancing. Children, 
In this video, we learn to calculate age by addition and subtraction. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Kids, we learned in the previous video to calculate age by addition and subtraction. In this video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. Raju and Bablu are helping uncle in cleaning his house. They found such a piece of paper among uncle's files. They asked uncle about that paper. The uncle told them that it is his birth certificate. What is this birth certificate, uncle? Uncle explains to them the birth certificate is issued at the time of every person's birth. Important informations are written on that, such as person's name, date of birth, etc. Children, do you know about birth certificate? Can you tell the date on which the uncle was born by looking at the uncle's birth certificate? Yes! Uncle was born on February 15, 1962. Raju and Bablu also got some old pictures of uncle. Bablu took a picture of uncle and saw that in that picture, uncle was in a school uniform. Bablu asked uncle, how old was he at that time? Uncle then told him that he was 12 years old then. Children, can you tell? In which year was uncle 12 years old? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids. You have found the right answer. Uncle was born in 1962 and... What should we do to find out in which year he was 12 years old? Yes, we need to add 12 to 1962. In which year was uncle 12 years old? 1974 Now, Raju found another picture of uncle. Here, uncle is seen in his college. The date written in the college picture below is 12th June 1980. Children, can you tell me how old was uncle in that picture? Yes, if we subtract 1962 from 1980, then we can find the age of uncle in this picture. Uncle's age in this picture is 18 years. Now, Bablu got a picture of uncle's childhood. When Bablu asked uncle, it was revealed that uncle was only 6 months old in this picture. Children, can you tell us in which month this picture was taken in 1962? Uncle was born in February. This picture was taken six months from February. So, which month comes six months from February? August. So, this picture 
was taken in the month of August in 1962. Raju and Bablu enjoyed seeing old pictures of uncle. Uncle told them that if they had some more time, he could tell them some stories of his childhood. Raju and Bablu got excited and then uncle told them stories of his childhood. Kids, in this video, we learned to calculate age by using addition and subtraction with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to it. Hello kids! In the previous video, we learned to calculate age by using addition and subtraction with some interesting examples. In this video, we will learn more about it and will see some common mistakes related to it. All children are deciding together which game they want to play today. But everyone has a different opinion. Someone wants to play cricket. Someone wants to play football. Then Sher Khan said, Why not decide today in a unique way which game they should play? Today, whosoever is the eldest among them will get to decide which game they all will play together. Everybody liked Sher Khan's suggestion. One by one, they wrote the year of birth and age on a board like this. Now Raju is saying that he is elder than all of them. So, he will decide which game he wants to play. While Bunny is saying that his and Raju's age should be equal as they both have the same year of birth. What do you think, children? Who is right? Raju or Bunny? Come, let's see how Raju found his age. Raju counted his age in this way with his fingers. When he was born, in 2012, he started counting from 2012. 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018 and 2019. In this way, Raju counted his age as 8 years old. Children, has Raju counted his age properly? Raju has made a mistake. He started counting from 2012. While he should start counting from 2013. But uh, why? Because Raju will be one year old in 2013 and not in 2012. Remember children, whenever you are counting on your fingers, you should start counting from the next year of your birth year. So, how can we find the right age of Raju? In this way, by starting counting from 2013 on fingers, we can find the right age of Raju. So, how old is Raju? 7 years. Now, let's see how Bunny calculated his age. 
good. Bunny calculated his age by using the subtraction process in this way. Children, has Bunny done the subtraction correctly? Yes, Bunny has done the subtraction right. Hence, Bunny calculated his age as 7 years, which is right. The rest of the children also caught Raju's mistake. And it turned out that Raju and Bunny are exactly of same age. Raju understood his mistake. And now, Raju and Bunny decided to play cricket together. And all children started playing cricket together. Kids, so today, we noticed some common mistakes related to calculating age using addition and subtraction. Hello kids! In this video, we will learn about the calendar. In a few days, there was a show of magic going to happen in the village. When Sher Khan was coming home from school, he found a poster of magic show on the way. He got excited and brought that poster directly to his mother. He asks his mother, When is the magic game going to happen? His mother looked at the calendar and said, that the magic game was going to happen on September 15th and it still had four days to go. Sher Khan could not understand how his mother found out by looking at the calendar how many days were left in the game. He asked his mother, What is a calendar, mom? Kids, do you know what a calendar is? Come see what Sher Khan's mother is explaining to him about the calendar. Sher Khan's mother is explaining to him that this is a calendar. It depicts the month of the whole year and the days in those months. Children, do you know how many months are there in a year? Exactly, 12 months. Now Sher Khan's mother is explaining to him that on the poster of the game of magic, it is written that the game is going to be on 15th September and today is 10th September. Children, can you find the date of 10th September on this calendar? First, we will find the month of September in the calendar. Can you find the month of September on this calendar? Well done kids! You have found it absolutely right. Now, can you find the date 10 in here? That's great! You got the date right! Children, can you tell how many days are there in the month of September? That's right! 30 days! Children, do you know that there are not 30 days in all months? There are some months that have 31 days. Can you tell by looking at the calendar which months have 31 days in them? If you want, you can pause the video to find the answer. Yes! January, March, May, July, August, October, and December have 31 days in their month. 
Sher Khan's mother showed Sher Khan the date of the magic game on the calendar. Now Sher Khan started thinking that days were written in this way in the month. But he could not understand why only the names of the day were written above. Do you know the reason behind it? Because one week is made by adding seven days. And as soon as one week ends, another week starts. So once again, the second week starts from the same day. And so, the names of the days are written only above. Children, can you tell how many weeks are there in the month of September? Exactly! Four weeks and a few days. And if you look closely, you will find that there are four weeks and few days in every month. There are four weeks only in the month of February and in certain years, it is four weeks and one day in the month of February. Sher Khan was very happy after learning about the calendar. He told his mother that now he himself will reach the right day for the game of magic. He went running and told his friends about the calendar. Children, in this video, we learned about the calendar. In the next video, we will learn more about it with some interesting examples. In the previous video, we learned about the calendar. In this video, we will learn more about this. Golu has come to a marketplace to buy biscuits today. When he bought a pack of biscuits from the shopkeeper, he saw that some numbers were written on it. He could not understand anything. He immediately asked Babban, What are these numbers? Babban told him that this number is the date on which this packet of biscuit was manufactured. Golu asks Babban how he came to know what date it is. Children, have you seen a date written like this on something? We can write any date in this way. These numbers indicate which date of the month it is. Like uh, what date is mentioned on the packet of biscuits bought by Golu? Exactly! 8. Now, this number shows the number of the month. Children, can you tell what is the third month of the year? Let's find it in the calendar. This is the first month of the year, January. This second, February. And March is the third month. And finally, the last number in the date written on the pack of biscuits represents the last two digits of any year. Like uh, number 19 on the packet of Gulu's biscuits here, this year is made up of last two digits of the year 2019s. So, what was the date written on Gulu's pack of biscuits? Yes, 8th March 2019. Kids, 
Can you find this date on the calendar? If you want, you can pause the video and find the answer. Well done kids! You have found the right answer. Golu became very excited after learning how to write this date. When Golu reached school, he saw that the date was also written on his classroom's blackboard. Children, can you tell me what date it is? Exactly! This date is 21st August 2019. Now, can you find this date on the calendar? Well done, children! You have found the right answer. Golu started feeling hungry. He opened his pack of biscuits and first he gave Raju a biscuit from it and then ate a biscuit himself. Raju tells Golu that two years ago his uncle brought him very tasty biscuits from abroad. Kids, if it is the year 2019 now, can you tell in which year did Raju's uncle get the biscuits for him? To find the year before 2019, we only have to count backwards from 2019 to 2 years. 2018-2017 Raju's uncle had brought him the biscuits in the year 2017. Golu's mouth became watery after hearing about tasty biscuits. He immediately asks Raju, When will his uncle come back from abroad? Then Raju told him that he would come from abroad the next year. Kids, can you tell what the next year of 2019 will be? All right, we have to add one year to 2019. One added to 2000. And 19 would be 2020. So Raju's uncle is going to come again from abroad in 2020. Golu got very excited on hearing this. Raju told him that when his uncle would come from abroad, he would definitely give Golu some of those delicious biscuits. Golu became very happy after hearing this. Raju and Golu shared Golu's biscuits and ate it with great pleasure. Kids, in this video, we learned more about the calendar with some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Kids, in the previous video, we learned more about the calendar with some interesting examples. In this video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to it. Jeev came to meet Raju Bablu on February 29th last year. Now, the month of February is about to begin. Today is the last date of January, that is, 31st January. Raju and Bablu are very excited because Jeev told them that he will come to meet them every 29th of February. Raju is telling Bablu 
that tomorrow is the first date of February. So tomorrow will definitely be Sunday. Bablu started laughing at Raju. Bablu said that every month does not necessarily start on Sunday. Children, who do you think is right? Raju or Bablu? Yes, Bablu is right. Every month does not start on Sunday. As you can see in this calendar, the first date of the month of January is on Sunday. But the first date of February is on Wednesday. Many days have passed. And today the date is 28th February. Raju and Bablu prepare to welcome Jeev. The next day they kept waiting for him for the whole day. But Jeev did not come. Both Raju and Bablu became very sad. At that time, Barbolit. Uncle was passing by. He saw Raju and Bablu sad. When he asked Raju and Bablu the reason for their sadness, Bablu told them that he would come to meet them every 29th February. But he did not come to meet them today. Uncle explained to Raju and Bablu that every year the 29th does not come in the month of February. There are only 28 days in February every year. But because exactly one year is not equal to 365 days, Rather, it is a little more than that, which we could not count in days. These small parts add up to one day in four years, which is added in the month of February. So, there is a month with 29 days in February after Every four years. Such as last time was in the year 2016 and now the next year with 29 days in February would be 2020. In most years, February has only 28 days. And this year is also the same year when there are only 28 days in February. Therefore, Jeev did not come to meet them. Raju and Bablu now understood why Jeev did not come. And uncle also gave them one one toffee each to make them happy. Raju and Bablu look so happy after eating the toffee. Children, in this video, we saw some misconceptions related to the calendar. In this video, we will learn about some unique patterns of the calendar. Gaggu is showing magic to all the villagers today. He has made a huge calendar on the stage. First, he called two people on stage. Babban and Chanda immediately got on the stage. He asked both Chanda and Babban to choose a date and make a circle on it. They have to keep in mind that while choosing the date, the date should not be in the last vertical 
or horizontal line of the month. Chanda chose the date 7th and Babban chose the date 19th. Now, Gaggu asked both of them to add their chosen date and the date written in the diagonally opposite direction. Chanda added 7 and 15 in this way. Children, sum of 7 and 15 is 22. Now, Babban added 27 in 19. Adding 27 to 19 equals... 46. Now Gagu told Chanda and Babban that they had to take the next date from their chosen date and add it with the number written diagonally in the backward direction. Chanda quickly added 8 and 14. And got the answer as 22 again. And Babban too, by adding 26 to 20, got the number 46 itself again. Chanda and Babban were shocked and all the audience started clapping loudly. Gagu told the audience, that they could try this magic by choosing any date in the calendar. Come, let's see what more magic is Gagu showing on the calendar now. Gagu invited another person from the audience on the stage. This time, Appu has come on stage. Gagu asked Appu to choose one of the horizontal lines of the calendar. All he has to keep in mind is that the horizontal line should not be incomplete. Appu chose the horizontal line with these dates. Now Gagu asked Appu that which of these numbers is exactly in the middle of this horizontal line. Appu immediately pointed to 15 and said, This one. Now Gagu asked him, What would be 2 times this number? Children, can you tell how much is 15 times 2? Correct! 30! Gagu wrote 30 on the paper. Now, Gagu told Appu that he had to add the first and last numbers of that horizontal line. Children, can you tell what 12 added to 18 is? Perfect! 30. Now Gaku told Appu that even if he added the second and sixth numbers of that horizontal line, his addition would still be 30. Children, is this correct? Yes, Gaku is right. If we add 17 to 13, we will still get 30. Now in the end, Gagu told Appu that even if he added the third and fifth numbers of that line, the answer would still be 30. Children, can you tell how much would 14 added to 16 be? 
Oh wow! This is also 30. Gagu told all the audience that they could try this magic with the numbers written in any horizontal line of the calendar. The audience thoroughly enjoyed the magic of Gagu's calendar and happily returned to their homes. Children, in this video, we learned about some unique patterns of the calendar. In the next video, we will see some more interesting patterns of the calendar. In the previous video, we learned about some unique patterns of the calendar. In this video, we will see some more interesting patterns of the calendar. Minu was very excited after seeing Gagu's magic. She went to sleep that night thinking about Gagu's magic. Minu was dreaming that she knows how to fly. She flew to Golu's house. She saw a calendar there. But there was something special about this calendar. Diagonal number pairs like this were shining on it. Minu felt that just like Gagu had shown the magic of the calendar, there might be some magic hidden in these numbers too. Children, do you see a pattern in the groups of these diagonal numbers? If you wish to, you can stop the video and think of the answer. If we look closely, we will find that there is a pattern in these diagonal numbers. Let's see. First, we will look at the group of 3 and 9. Children, if we subtract 3 from 9, how much will it be? Absolutely correct! 6. Now, if we see the next pair of numbers, 4 and 10, then, oh, what is this? After subtracting 4 out of 10, once again, 6 is left. Yes, children, we will find the same pattern in any such pair of two diagonal numbers in the calendar. The difference between those two numbers will be 6. Minu got very excited upon seeing this pattern. Now Minu thought that she should fly to Chanda's house and see what Chanda is doing. When she reached Chanda's house, she saw that Chanda was encircling two dates like this on her calendar. Minu started wondering if there is a pattern in these two numbers too. Children, can you tell what the difference between 20 and 12 will be? Exactly! 8. Now, Minu saw these next two pair of numbers. Children, what will be the difference between 21 and 13? Yes, this difference will also be 8. Children, you will find that the difference between such diagonal pair of numbers in the calendar will always be 8. Minu became even happier on seeing this calendar pattern. She started dancing happily. Just then, her alarm started ringing 
and she woke up from her dream. But Meenu still remembered the magic of the calendar she had seen in her dream. She decided to show that magic to her friends the next day and switched off her alarm and went off to sleep again. Children, in this video we saw some more interesting patterns of the calendar. In this video, we will learn to tell time by using the watch. While Chanda was returning home from her shop, she found a watch on the way. The watch was very shiny. Chanda took that watch with her to her house. When Chanda brought that watch to her house, then she saw that the needles of the watch were like this. Children, do you remember the needles of the clock? Come, let's revise them once again through a poem. I am a one-hour needle, short and thick. Whenever the hour is over, I move forward. I am a minute needle, big and long. As soon as the minute is over, I run ahead. I am second needle. I move the fastest. In a blink of an eye, I run quickly ahead. Chanda is wondering, what time is the watch showing? Then suddenly an angel came there. The angel gave magical shoes to Chanda and said if she would wear these shoes exactly at 12 o'clock at night, she would be able to go to a world which would be filled with her favorite things. But she has to take care that she returns home exactly at 1 o'clock. Chanda got very excited. The angel disappeared after saying this. Now Chanda started thinking that if she does not know the time in the watch, then how she will know when it is 12 o'clock? Chanda once again looked at the watch. The needles of the clock were like this. Let us help Chanda tell the time in the watch. Kids, do you know how to tell the time in a watch? No. No problem. Look here. In a watch, there are numbers from 1 to 12 written in this manner. The entire watch consists of 60 minutes and they are divided between 12 numbers. So each part is of 5 minutes. And if you look closely, you will find that there are four small lines in each part. In this way, every short line is equal to one minute. Let us see how we can tell the time in this watch. This is the time in Chanda's watch. Children, can you tell what number is the hour needle on? Yes, between 11 and 12. Whenever the hour needle is between any two numbers, then we have to take the smaller number of the two numbers as our number. 
सो हाउ मेनी आवर्स आर देर इन चंदाज वॉच यस इलेवन आवर्स नाउ लेट्स सी द टाइम इन मिनिट्स कैन यू टेल वॉट नंबर द मिनिट नीडल इज ऑन ऑन नंबर इलेवन एंड वी नो that there is a distance of 5 minutes between every two numbers so to count the time in minutes we have to multiply 11 by 5 so children what is 11 times 5 55 in this way the minute needle is at 55 minutes in chanda's watch now this is very easy whenever we want to tell the time in the watch just call the hour and minute numbers together in this way it is 11 hours and 55 minutes in chanda's watch Chanda also learned to tell the time with you. Chanda became very excited to know that there was only 5 minutes left to 12 o'clock. Now, according to the angel, she will have to wait only 5 more minutes. And then at 12 o'clock She will wear the magical shoes and reach her most favorite thing in the world. Children, in this video, we learned to read time from the watch. In the next video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Hello children in the previous video we learned to read time from the watch in this video we will learn more about it by some interesting examples finally it's 12 o'clock and chanda puts on her shoes children can you tell what the needles of the clock look like at uh, 12 o'clock That's correct The hour needle is exactly on number 12 And minute needle is also on number 12 As soon as Chanda put on her magic shoes she reached such a place Chanda can't believe her eyes She has reached in such a world where there are only walnuts around her. Once again, the angel came there. She told Chanda that she can collect as many walnuts as she can and take with her till 2 o'clock. Chanda found a basket there and started collecting walnuts in it. Now Chanda saw the time in her watch. The needles were like this. Children, can you tell what time it is now in Chanda's watch? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children you have found the right answer In Chanda's watch the hour needle is between 1 and 2 so it's 1 hour and the minute needle is on number 4 so how many minutes does that make yes Four times five, or twenty minutes. In this way, 
the time in Chanda's watch is still 1 hour 20 minutes. Chanda was so happy that she forgot about the time. Now, when she saw the time in the clock, it was 50 minutes past 1. Children, can you tell us what the needles of the clock will look like at 1 hour 50 minutes? Because a few minutes have passed since 1, the hour needle will be between numbers 1 and 2. And at what number will the minute needle be to show 50 minutes? This is very easy. As we multiply the number on clock by 5. To find the time in minutes. To find out what number the needle points to. We have to reverse it. That is minutes divided by 5. So, 50 is divided by 5. How many does that make? Exactly! 10. Therefore, the minute needle will be on the number 10. In this way, we can show 1 hour 50 minutes. Shanda is still busy collecting walnuts. The watch showed 2 o'clock, but Chanda did not even know. Chanda started collecting walnuts more rapidly. In her hurry, one of her shoes was left there. And Chanda came back to her house by magic. Chanda is sad that her shoe was lost and that the watch also disappeared. But Chanda was very happy to see her walnut basket and gladly started eating the walnuts. Now, what will happen to that magic watch? We will see in the next video. Children, in this video, we learned more about reading time in the watch through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will see some common mistakes related to it. In the last video, we learnt more about reading time in the watch by some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some common mistakes related to it. Chanda's magic watch disappeared. But where did the watch finally go? What's this? Babban found the magic watch? Once again, the angel appeared in front of Babban. She told Babban the same thing about the watch which she had told Chanda. On wearing the magical shoes, Babban will reach the world exactly at 12 o'clock. Which has his favorite item. There, he will have till 2 p.m. And during that time, he can collect as many things as he wants and bring with him. Seeing this, the angel also gave Babban the new magical shoes. The time in Babban's watch was this. Babban thought that it was 11 hours 15 minutes in his watch. Thinking of this, Babban quickly put on his magical shoes. He stayed for a long time. But 
no magic happened and he stayed in his house. But why did it happen? Children, can you tell what mistake Babban has made? When Babban saw the time in the clock, the needles of the watch were like this. Can you tell what time it is in the watch? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. That's correct. The hour needle is between 3 and 4. So it was past 3 o'clock. And the minute needle is on number 11. So 11 times 5 is 55 minutes. In this way, the time in the watch is 3 hours 55 minutes. And Babban saw the time as 11 hours 15 minutes. Can you tell where the needles of the watch need to be to show the time as 11 hours 15 minutes? That's correct. At 11 hours 15 minutes, the hour needle is between 11 and 12 and the minute needle will be at 15 divided by 5, that is number 3. Now can you tell by looking at these two watches, what mistake has Babban made? Yes, Babban replaced the hour needle with the minute needle and minute needle replaced by the hour needle to see time in the watch. So Babban saw the wrong time. Children, keep in mind, whenever you look at the time in the watch, Identify the minute and hour needle properly and then guess the time. It's finally 12 o'clock and Babban reached a world which was full of bananas. Babban became very excited. He quickly started eating bananas. Babban was so happy that he did not care about time and he kept eating bananas. Then, when Babban's stomach was full, he started feeling very sleepy. When Babban saw the time in the watch, the needles of the watch were like this. Babban thought that the hour needle between 1 and 2 is very close to 2. Hence, 2 hours have passed and the minute needle is on number 10 or 10 times 5, 50 minutes have passed. So the time is now 2 hours and 50 minutes. Babban thought that the angel has allowed him to stay there only because it's already 2 hours and 50 minutes and he was still there. After thinking this, Babban fell asleep peacefully. Children, has Babban seen the correct time in the watch? No, Babban has made a mistake. What mistake has Babban made? Absolutely right. Babban was wrong about the hour. What is the time if the hour needle was between 1 and 2? Exactly. 1 hour. But Babban understood it as 
टू आवर्स चिल्ड्रन रिमेंबर दैट वेन एवर द आवर नीडल इज बिटवीन एनी टू नंबर वी ऑलवेज हैव टू टेक द स्मॉलर नंबर ऑफ दोज नंबर इन द आवर काउंट What is the right time this? Yes. The exact time has been 1 hour 50 minutes. When Babban woke up, he found himself in his house. Because Babban saw the time in the watch wrong, and shortly after Babban went to sleep, it was 2 o'clock. and he returned to his house babban became depressed for a while but then he saw the angel had placed a lot of bananas in a basket beside him babban started dancing happily after seeing this children in this video we learnt about some common mistakes related to telling time hello children in this video we will learn about the timeline chanda has come to appu's house she saw a photo album at appu's house Chanda opened the album and started looking through it. The album contained many photographs from Appu's childhood to date. Chanda told Appu, "Why don't they together arrange those pictures chronologically from his childhood to date?" Appu could not understand how they could do this. Chanda then told him that they could use the timeline to put his pictures chronologically according to time. Appu asked Chanda, "What is this timeline?" Children Do you know about the timeline? No. That's all right. A timeline is a line on which we can depict the events that have happened in the life of any person in order of chronology. Chanda removed these four photos from Appu's album. In this picture Appu is celebrating his 7th birthday. In this one Appu was in 1st grade. This picture was taken when Appu was 1 year old and his parents had taken him on a trip to Abu. And this last picture was taken when Appu first started speaking the word mother. at the age of 2 Chanda drew a horizontal line like this and explained to Appu Look Appu to make the timeline we have to first draw a horizontal line like this then we will write the age of the events we want to depict on it from the youngest to the oldest children here we have four pictures of appu and his age in those pictures can you tell which of these ages is the youngest correct out of these this picture of appu which was taken when appu was 1 year old will be shown first on the timeline by writing one year on it like this now can you tell out of these pictures 
the age of which picture will be chronologically next on the timeline well done children you have found the correct answer this picture in which appu was 2 years old will be shown chronologically next on the timeline by writing 2 years on it and which of these pictures will be next on the timeline yes this picture of appu in which appu was in first grade will be shown chronologically next on the timeline by writing the age of 5 years on it and finally the picture of appu's 7th birthday will be shown by writing the age of 7 years on the timeline in this way appu's timeline is ready children do you remember uncle's pictures which raju and bablu found can you draw uncle's timeline from these pictures if you want you can stop the video and find the answer well done children you have found the right answer finally chanda too completed appu's timeline and arranged appu's pictures chronologically in this way in his album appu was very happy to see his pictures arranged chronologically <laughs> children in this video we learned about the timeline in the next video we will learn more about it Hello children in the previous video we learned about the timeline in this video we will learn more about it Raju has come to play at Bablu's house Raju kept waiting for Bablu for a long time but Bablu has been writing something in a diary since quite some time when Raju asked him what he has been writing in that diary for so long then bablu told him that he is writing about the tasks he does through the day in that diary raju got excited he asked bablu to read what he has written in his diary bablu started reading i eat food with my parents Every night at nine o'clock, I wake up at eight o'clock in the morning every day. I play with my friends at four o'clock in the afternoon every day. I go to school at nine o'clock in the morning every day. Bablu was going to read further, but Raju stopped him. Oh no, Bablu! In what incorrect sequence have you written your daily routine? Why don't you write it more beautifully in a sequence using the timeline? Bablu could not understand anything. Raju, I only know how to make a timeline from age. Can you teach me how to make a timeline using time? Look, Bablu. First We will write the very first task in your daily routine on the timeline. Of these four tasks, which task do you do first and at what time? Children, can you tell out of these four tasks which task does Bablu do first in the day and at what time? Well done children. You have found the right answer. Bablu wakes up every day at 8 o'clock in the morning. Raju drew a timeline in Bablu's diary 
in this way and wrote eight o'clock in the morning as the very first task. He told Bablu that he can write wake up every morning under this or if he wants he can also draw a picture for it. Now Raju asked Bablu to identify which one of the remaining three tasks does he perform next in sequence in the morning after waking up before he performs the other tasks in the day. Children, can you tell according to time which one of these three tasks does Bablu perform first? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. That's correct! Bablu first goes to school at 9 o'clock in the morning. Raju now wrote 9 o'clock in the morning on the timeline in this way and drew a picture like this below it. Bablu got excited seeing Raju's picture. It looks so much prettier than the daily routine I had written. Children, now can you write these remaining two tasks in the correct sequence on the timeline? If you wish to, you can stop the video and find the answer. Well done children, you have written it correctly. Raju also completed the timeline in Bablu's diary by drawing beautiful pictures and writing the time in the correct order. Bablu thanked Raju for teaching him to write his daily routine using the timeline beautifully. And then both went to the play park. Children, here are some tasks and their time related to Golu's daily routine. Can you make a timeline of Golu's daily routine? You can find the answer by stopping the video. Well done! You made it perfectly! Children, in this video we learnt more about the timeline.